Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Sonali from It Starts at Home and today I'm sharing with all those moms who have been asking me how to keep their kids entertained, how to make uh, activities quickly. So I'm just going to show you as quickly as it's possible how to create an activity. So um, I'm going to be requesting moms just to pay a little attention here and see how easy it is to create these activities. All you need couple of markers, stickers. If you don't have stickers, um, try and use your kid's sticker books. Some cardstock, whatever color you have is, is good. Okay. And then ta-da, we are going to like show you how to make simple activities. So anything that your child is learning, okay, or you want them to learn, it's always better to make these sheets. They're easy to uh, do. The kids think that uh, it's colorful. Stickers make them interesting. Try and use any color sticker or try and use a lot of sketch pens. Maybe try and use white sheets so the sketch pens do just stand out. Uh, and let's get started. So what I've done, I have taken this sheet, which was already half used for something, but I didn't want to waste the sheet. So I have put four stickers of different color called 5973. And then I have put a special number on that. The activity is that all these stickers that I've put, the child has to look at the number and write the same number on each sticker. So like all yellow stickers will have five, all green will have nine and correspond correspondingly the other two now the same thing what i've done i have reused the sheet and i'm going to be using it uh, I've, I've just used both the sides today if your child is able to read four letter five letter or two letter word you can do a simple word hunt and you can reinforce spellings at the same time so here what i've done i have written not all of them but few words a few letters and he needs to put the same like your child needs to put like a a is going to come here then he's going to find w w comes here then again a and then again y it becomes a way same thing for p same thing for l o and do we have a v right now we don't have a v but you can always make like that um guys if you do not have these stickers you can make small chits you can use white paper just simple white paper and you can uh, make it into a glue and a pasting activity the child might just put l o v e as different letters on top of the same word so if it cannot be a sticker pasting activity it can be a glue pasting activity okay that was activity one activity two a simple math game which is quick skip counting i have used uh three different kind of lines that are so common okay and i'm showing you and i've made it so easy just to show you how easy it is to just grab get your 10 minutes think what your child is doing or you want him to work on and then just make the activities um, it won't take your much time but it will definitely uh, give your child a good time uh, to work on so as you can see i've made that and i've put these three stickers and i've written five and then there's a blank and then there's seven so what's missing in between five and six and then the same thing what's missing on the other one and there are six examples that i've done here which is just simple skip counting if you see it's not very difficult i haven't done anything great here i've just assembled a couple of things that i had and i am uh, guys this is middle of the night uh, i wasn't able to sleep so i just thought that i have been getting all these requests i need to like just try it out and help moms to just figure out these simple activities okay i'm gonna show you what i've done behind okay color the drops as per the cloud now i have made eight different clouds and i've written it in word um and if your child doesn't know how to read it yet you can just use it in number but just to make it a little more interesting i have just used it like that now the drops are already made the child needs to just color so if it says one he needs to just color one drop if it says two he needs to just color two drops okay as simple as that and you can do with double digit triple like of course double digit not triple digit sorry that will be crazy for the mom and for the child to do it and you can adapt all these activities according to your child's age going forward uh, some fine motor skill activities and these all, by the way all these activities are from my old uh, videos that I was just scrolling down just to see and I thought I'm just going to quickly show it to you how I prepared so the same paper that I've used here I just folded that paper in multiple ways cut it just made these lines and just give the scissor to the child and the fine motor skills can be worked in eight different ways 
perfect, right? Easy and simple. And I've just used all these markers that I have. I've been sitting at one place. I just used these random stickers that I found. They're not even all similar. I mean, and that's all right. I mean, we, we can use as much whatever we have in terms of resources and uh, that's it and even if you don't have stickers that's all right just just make it and give it to them to do it okay what what what's the next one uh, we have the skip counting where the butterflies have to reach the flowers and again there the path um, the numbers are missing so the child needs to write the number and then make sure that the path is all created so it's a simple activity just because the butterflies have to reach the flower that makes it interesting for the child and the path shows that it's a puzzle okay and he needs to finish the puzzle only then the butterflies will be able to reach the flower that's how you make anything interesting for the child to understand so even when you're presenting it to it just presenting the child just saying whatever is missing just write no you're helping the butterfly to reach the flower so let's look at the numbers what are missing and that's what we write uh, another activity is here which is before and after and uh, here the B stands for before, A stands for after. So there are numbers uh, 85732 and I've put a blank space here so that the child can write what comes before. You can use a double digit or a triple digit according to your child's age. And if you think there are too many of them, you can always reduce them and just give like three or four of them. Uh, trust me guys, you can make such activities with no time at all. All you need is a paper. Even if you do not have that, just try and use notebook or just grab an old notebook and you can try and do these activities. The last activity that I'm going to show it to you uh, is something that Vivan used to really enjoy when he was a baby. And I miss, do I miss making all these activities for Vivan now. Okay, so it's like mark nine and six, nine with an X and six with an O. And you can see there's so many of them that it's going to take some time and you can make it more dense or you can make it more easy. Uh, if you do not have the stickers, just use simple pen. Just use, but use different color pens for each one of them so that it becomes more challenging and it becomes more interesting. Okay, and for in front of every nine, he needs to write an X and in front of every six, he needs to make an O. Cool, right? Simple, very, very handy activities. Okay, so I can't blame, but I had to use the stickers and I was thinking, how can I make this activity very interesting? So every set that you see has a twin pair. Now the child has to find the pair and they need to match it. Uh, you might be thinking it's very, very easy, but if you will see, there's a repetition of yellow, green and pink at various places. There are two of them that are very, very simple, which will be easy, but you can always do it with sketch pen and make it very, very colorful, interesting and just according to your child's age. Um, guys, I hope you have... Um, uh, you have understood or you figured it out that how easy it is to make activities so do not freak out just take a deep breath uh, try and use the resources that you have in your house plain pen paper or a book does wonders uh, try and use your kids sticker books the activity books that they have they def they might be having some kind of stickers if they have even if they don't have then just let it be it's all right and then create according to the curriculum that they're working on or you think that something that they need to work on or something that they really want to brush up their skills uh, the activities can be totally